consolidated. Hope everybody's doing all right. Um, I'm coming at you from the Calvert household today. It's a little bit different. You get to kind of see part of my house. Um, maybe I'll have to move around from now on so you can kind of see different rooms. Um, hope everybody's having a good day. Today I have two artists actually, and I think you guys are going to really enjoy them. They have kind of been um, going at or fighting a little bit in the art world, and it's kind of been going on for a couple of years now. Um, but I think you guys are really going to enjoy this story. So today we're going to start off talking about an artist named Stuart Semple. Um, here's a picture of Stuart. He is from England, and he is actually 38 years old, or actually probably be 30, 40 years old now, excuse me. Um, just haven't updated this. So he's 40 years old. He is a contemporary artist, and he also makes pop art. So a lot of times when we look at his artworks, they're very um, bright. Okay, and he's very inspired by things from like the 1980s and the colors that we see um, from back then um, on things like advertisements. But what I really want to focus on is that he actually makes his own paints, which I find really cool. And this is something that became very important because a man named Anish Kapoor, who is a very famous contemporary artist from India, he is most famous for creating the bean, or its actual name is called Cloudgate down in Chicago. Many of you guys have probably seen this before. But Anish Kapoor, he was working with some scientists to create a new black substance or almost like a paint that would absorb light because that is part of the reason why um, black, if you have something black that sits out in the sun, it gets really, really hot. And that's because black is actually a color that absorbs the sun rays. And the scientists actually created a black called Vanta Black. Um, and Vanta Black turns out it was so black that it actually absorbs 99.96% of all light. This basically means that it's so black that it doesn't actually show any details. So if you were going to paint something with it, you wouldn't see any wrinkles, you wouldn't see any um, creases. Um, it pretty much just looks like a black hole. That's really the only thing we know that is darker than this paint is an actual black hole. And the scientists actually created it for the military and for scientists. And the idea was that they would use this black to actually coat the inside of um, telescopes. So that way when we are looking up at the stars, any light that shines down into the um, telescope is actually absorbed. So that way it's easier to see the stars. Now when these scientists created this black, what happened was that um, Anish Kapoor actually paid to become the only artist in the entire world that could use this black. Um, and here you can actually see an example of it. We see this sculpture on the left, and we see that same sculpture has actually been coated with this Vanta black, and it basically becomes, it looks like somebody just cut it out of the photograph. It's so black. Um, you can't see the nose or the eyes or the mouth. It's crazy how black it is. Now, because Anish Kapoor had paid to use this, he's the only artist in the whole entire world that can use it. Um, this, of course, made a lot of people really upset, especially artists, because they didn't think that you should be the only person to use it. it. Typically in the art world, we kind of view art or paints as everybody can use them. It's very open. Now, um, Stuart Semple, he was very upset about this, and a lot of people knew that um, Stuart Semple knew how to make his own paints. So they kind of came to Stuart Semple and they said, Stuart, what can we do to fight back against Anish Kapoor? And Stuart Semple, in response, created something called the pinkest pink. And we actually see a picture of it right here. And it's actually so pink that your computer screen isn't showing you how pink it is. Our computers actually can't handle how pink it is. Um, so it's kind of crazy that if you saw it in person, it would be way brighter than what it is on your computer screen. Now, Stuart Semple, he makes this thing called the Pinkest Pink. And to get back at Anish Kapoor, when you go to buy it from Stuart Semple's website, you have to sign a contract stating or saying that you are not Anish Kapoor. So basically, anybody in the entire world can buy Stuart Semple's Pinkest Pink, except Anish Kapoor, who owns Vanta Black and won't let anybody else use it. So since then, they've kind of gone back and forth, um, kind of making fun of each other and posting pictures at each other. Um, Stuart Semple's also come up with many other paints. Here's his version um, of black. So this is Stuart Semple's version of Vanta Black. It's not quite as black as uh, Anish Kapoor's, but it is still very, very black. Um, then he's also gone on to make some other paints. He's made the Glitteriest Glitter, which actually has actual shards of glass in it. 
Um, so it's kind of funny to just hear what Stuart Semple and Anish Kapoor have actually done in response to each other. And there's kind of a funny story about Anish Kapoor too. So this was an artwork that Anish Kapoor put in a museum where people believed he had just painted this circle on the ground using that paint because obviously it's so black it looked like just a hole in the ground, but people just thought it was painted. Well, it turns out that it was not actually painted. Um, it was an actual hole in the floor of the museum with the edges of it painted black and somebody actually stepped into it and fell and it was like an eight foot drop or something and got hurt. So just kind of an interesting story about um, Anish Kapoor and Stuart Semple. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's one of my favorite stories to tell my students. Um, otherwise, have a good day. Make sure to check the Facebook page for some new ideas and some drawing uh, sketchbook ideas. If you do make smart, please be sure to post it to the page so I can see what you guys are working on. Otherwise, have a good one, guys.